you know, what topics do you think were most often discussed? Do you, you know, do you lead the conversations or do you let them lead them? So for my first, I'll say, I mean, I think your first campaign getting started is very distinct from the one, the subsequent campaigns. Because with the first one, you're catching up with everybody for the first time and who knows how long. And for some people, it's been regular, but um, but you're contacting them in a different way. So your my first campaign was structured around what I found worked for me was I, did, I had an opening spiel that I got down to about a minute and a half, two minutes, where it's like, hey, well, like I said in my initial message, you know, I wanted to get better at keeping in touch with, well, I, I usually open with just a, hey, it's so great to reconnect. And, you know, when we were at, you know, company Y together, um, one thing that stood out about you to me is this. And that's why when I went, you know, through my network and like, who do I want to keep in touch with? You were one of the people that I added to that list. And that was a great opener, I think, to avoid it feeling salesy. Because I let them know right off the bat, there's a reason I picked you. Like, I didn't pick my entire 1,500, you know, connections on LinkedIn and spam this. You know, this was a curated list down to 350, which was already too big. But but you're 350 out of 1,500. And here's why. You know, mm -hmm. here's why. Because what stood out about you was this. And so they really appreciated that, you know, someone... Um, remembered or recognized the thing about them that might have been a year ago and might have been 12 years ago. And so then I said, yeah, and I've been on this journey. Uh, I just decided I'm going to try to get better um, at this. And then I found this platform that really helped me have an action, like ha have me ha help me have an, a concrete action plan for how am I going to get better at this? How am I actually going to get better at this? Mm -hmm. And that's where we are today. So you know, that's me. And, you know, you saw a little bit of what I've been up to. And sometimes they'd ask questions about, so how, you know, how did that last place go? And, and why did you leave? Um, and then it was just like, well, how about you? You know, and so I tried to keep my update overall to like seven, 10 minutes max and just go, how about you? And then let them just tell me what was going on. Right. Uh, and then there would, there would be some back and forth, but, but what I found was as long as I open with, here's why I've selected you as part of my campaign. Here's why I'm, and I didn't say campaign, but here's why I selected you as part of the part of people I want to stay in touch with. Um, here's how I'm even trying to stay in touch with people uh, and a little bit more about what's been up with me. So what's been up with you? And so I generally found that across a, a broad range of people, and I went really broad. I mean, there were some people that I'd had, I mean, we were always, you know, for some people, we were always two people in a room or in a group, an exec group, but we weren't collaborating day over day, you know, and that format, even for those people where I was just like, you stood out to me for this reason. So I just thought I'd reach out. Um, that format was even palatable for them. And being in software, I have a lot of introverts. And so palatable for introverts with whom I had a very little contact. So, you know, now when you're communicating with this network, did you find that a lot of your contacts were in kind of the similar boat as you, you know, were a lot of them looking for jobs themselves? I mean, everybody's always asking that question of, you know, kind of relevant. Is anybody else going through this with me? Is anybody else looking for a role? I mean, did you find when you reach out to 300 people that a lot of people were actively looking themselves? What I found was, I would say that not a lot of people, I, would say I probably had like 30 or 40% who were looking but what everybody had in common is when I talked about, I feel like, because my little spiel was, you know, I, I've known I need to get better at networking, keeping in touch with people. And then I, um, I had this executive recruiter reach out to me. And then it turns out he has this platform and he talked to me about, you know, he, looking at and listening to me, he said, you know, you've, you've done all this stuff and, and it seems like you spend a lot of time mentoring and investing in people, you know, directly beneath and then and then all the way down to entry level people. But I'm hearing you say nothing about the people that you stood shoulder to shoulder with or who you worked for who were farther along in their in their journey than you. But you have this amazing network. And when I went through an exercise that he recommended and looked at it, it was like, oh, my God, I actually I have this unbelievable network that I never keep in touch with. And when mm -hmm. I walked through that, there was not a person. I, I'm, I'm trying to remember, like, I mean, maybe there were three. But the vast majority of them, that was 
like I could watch their face and most of them would say, I have known that I need to care about, I, like in, in the back of my head, I have known that I need to care about this. And honestly, I'm worried that I'm going to catch myself, you know, with a, a riff or a merger or something. And suddenly I'm going to be caught absolutely flat footed, not being in touch with anybody, but needing to find a job. So it wasn't that they were looking, it's that talking about my story brought out, and I think they felt safe because I went first, you know, <laughs> um, and they're like, actually, that's the thing that worries the hell out of me. <laughs> it's sure. like, if, you know, if something happens to me and, and, but I don't, but I'm not doing anything about it. And so, uh, yeah, that was, that was the one, like, I swear, almost everybody I talked to, that was their theme is like the fact that you're caring about and getting, you know, being more deliberate with this is highlighting for me that I've wanted to be better at this for years. Mm -hmm.